This channel was born off the premise of Call of Duty nostalgia. It's deep. It runs deep with a lot of us that have played Call of Duty or it's been part of our lives for so long. And that's really what made this channel successful in the early years. Well, nostalgia runs through Call of Duty extremely hard. It's one of the main things that people refer to every single time a new Call of Duty game is announced. But what Call of Duty guns have the most nostalgic value to them? Welcome to the channel, everybody. Chaos here. I saw the comments on the last COD History video, and it didn't get a ton of views, but man, the uh, the positive reception in the comment section was amazing. I read every one of them, so we are going to continue. We have not officially pulled out of COD retirement yet, but if you guys continue to support and you enjoy the content, we may be on our way. Today, we're going to take a trip down memory lane, and I'm going to give you my top 10 picks for the most nostalgic guns in COD history. So sit back and get ready for the feels to just wave over you. Let me know which of these weapons you have the most memories of. Drop a like on the video. And if you want the COD history top 10 videos to come back, if you want COD to come back in full force, you let me know. At number 10 today is the AN-94 from Black Ops 2. It's appeared in quite a few Call of Duty games, but no version has ever been as good or as memorable as the original from 2012. I can't believe we're saying 2012. The Black Ops 2 AN-94 was one of the very last guns you unlocked, and it was well worth the grind. Now, I'm sure all of you know that it fired its first couple shots faster than the rest. It gave it this awkward time to kill because if you hit those first few shots, it would melt the enemy, but if you missed that speed boost, it becomes pretty mid. But the Black Ops 2 version, it was a melt machine even if you missed the initial speed boost, and it had some of the smoothest handling you could ever ask for in a Call of Duty gun. The iron sights were super clean, the reload animation was really, really smooth, and the recoil was low. And then you add on, the damage per shot was enough to drop someone in as little as three bullets, which is very strong for Black Ops 2. It was easily the best version of the AN-94 in COD history. Certainly one of the most nostalgia-filled assault rifles in the entire franchise. Before we move on, guys... If you get anything from G2A.com, use code CHAOS. Get yourself some cash back. The link is at the top of the description. At number nine, the Ballista from Black Ops 2. Yes, we're still on Black Ops 2. If I'm putting the Ballista at number nine, you know things are going to get pretty wild. I'm going to hit you guys hard with the Nostalgia Hammer as we go on in this video. Anyway, the Ballista wasn't actually the most popular sniper in Black Ops 2 when the game first launched, but after the infamous DSR nerf, who was there for that? Raise your hand. It quickly jumped to the top of the pack, and frankly, it was always a god-tier weapon to me. It was just a bit overshadowed by the vanilla DSR, which is understandable because that thing was even crazier. It was a bolt-action sniper rifle with a moderate rate of fire and a relatively small one-shot kill range, but it had this extremely quick handling speed and a pretty big default mag if you think about it, meaning if you could get good with it and you aimed high with it, you could pull off some insane clips. It was a staple of Black Ops 2 YouTube montages and the firing sound is probably engraved into too many of your little brains. I mean, just talking about it, I can hear that iconic firing sound mixed with the beeps and the boops of people planning tactical insertions right around the corner. At number eight, the MP40 from World at War. Every new Call of Duty game has at least one overpowered SMG, but I'm not sure if any of them have ever been quite as dominant as the World at War MP40, which is not only the best gun in the game, but it remained the best gun in the game forever because it never got patched. Not one time. It was basically the only gun that people used in World at War if they were taking that match seriously, and you, you can't blame them. It hit for 60 base damage without stopping power, made it more intimidating and more versatile than basically everything else in the game. Not only was it one of the most popular guns available for statistical reasons, it also had really, really nice firing sounds, it had a pretty sweet reload animation, and obviously it had the iconic design of the MP40. It was a banger of a weapon, easily one of the most nostalgic Treyarch COD guns ever made. At number seven, the Spaz-12 from Modern Warfare 2 2009. Now, this is one of those guns that's been brought back plenty of times throughout COD history, but it's never quite hit the same as the original. The 2009 Spaz, I mean, it was a freak of nature. Not only was it one of the deadliest sidearms in the game, yes, it was a sidearm back then, but it was also, it had this pounding sound effect that thundered through your speakers every time you pulled the trigger. At, that, at this time, when the game came out, the Spaz-12 was arguably the most broken secondary in Call of Duty up to that point. I still consider it to be one of the best shotguns ever made. Am I biased? Yeah, I probably am. I still remember watching Sandy Ravage get nukes with this thing back when COD gameplay videos were blowing up on YouTube, and I'm sure that has something to do with the legacy this gun has attached to it, but that's nostalgia, right? This is a list of nostalgic COD guns. 
And the 2009 Spaz 12 absolutely belongs here regardless of how you initially experienced it. No other pump shotgun in COD history has hit like this one did. At number six, the Desert Eagle from COD 4. Now, speaking of crazy sidearms, it was basically the only pistol that people used in the original Modern Warfare, and I, I wish we could get this one back. I know, the Deagle has shown up in other COD games since COD 4, but this OG version was, it was special. Aside from the fact that it was huge and the recoil took up half your screen, the firing sound was iconic in itself, and the damage you could pump out with a single bullet rivaled some of the rifles in the game. It was, it was hard to control, but it was so worth it. Taking someone down with the COD 4 Deagle, especially the gold version, was one of the best feelings you could have on Xbox Live. Later versions of the Deagle in Call of Duty may have been more versatile or more viable, but this list is about nostalgia, and the OG COD Deagle is dripping with it. It had the sauce, and every one of you knows it. Now we crack into the top five. The MSMC from Black Ops 2. Let's go back to Black Ops 2 again. Now, there's a lot of debate every year over what the best competitive weapon in the annual Call of Duty game is. But if you were playing Black Ops 2 back in the day, I think back to Team Caliber. Man, good memories. Anyway, you were in it. You were even remotely familiar with the MLG scene or league play at that time. You were probably very familiar with the MSMC. This, MS, or this SMG didn't have amazing stats on paper. Once you started using it, Everything came together. The puzzle started to come together. It was undeniably one of the best guns in COD history. The recoil was a little heavy for the weapon of its kind, but the damage per shot and the fire rate made it so consistent in basically every situation you could put yourself in. And since it was an SMG, you could zip around corners and drop shot with ease and never have to worry about the weight slowing you down. It was an awesome gun, and it was a staple of the early 2010s of Call of Duty. If you ever went try hard in Black Ops 2, you were probably equipping the S or MSMC. At number four. The M40A3 from COD 4, the gun that invented quickscoping. Yes, it did. It may have felt very awkward by modern COD sniping standards, and it may not be quite as consistent as it is in my memory banks, but this gun was a moment. It was smooth. It looked cool. The firing sound had that perfect crack to it. And if this gun never existed, we probably never would have gotten other future snipers like the Intervention in the MSR. Aggressive sniping simply would not exist as play styles if the M40A3 had not paved the way for everyone else. And I still think... It's one of the most recognizable weapons in COD history, despite being over 15 years old. Maybe you used it in the original COD 4. Maybe you used it in the fir for the first time in Modern Warfare Remastered. But the M40A3 is a Call of Duty legend, and it deserves a top 5 spot, which it has. At number 3, the M8A1 from Black Ops 2. Now, I said a few minutes ago that the MSMC was a competitive weapon of choice in Black Ops 2, but that's not entirely true because the M8A1 did give it a run for its money. In fact, depending on who you were... You may think that this actually outclassed the MSMC when it was time to sweat your nuts off in public matches or go nuts in league play, but this four-round burst rifle deserves the number three spot on the list. It does, regardless of who you are or how much you actually enjoyed it. The time to kill was insane, the handling was silky smooth, and the sound of those four bullets screaming out of the barrel one right after another was one of the most frequent things you heard while running around Black Ops 2 multiplayer. The M8A1 is iconic, there's no question. It's hard not to feel as nostalgic just looking at gameplay of it, or somebody using it anchoring down hardpoint. At number two, the FAMAS from Black Ops 1. I don't think a single gun has ever dominated COD multiplayer as hard as the Black Ops 1 FAMAS dominated back in 2010. If you try to tell me that something in the newer COD multiplayer is dominated harder, I'm just going to tell you you're wrong, because you weren't there. You weren't there in 2010. This rifle fired at 900 rounds per minute. It killed with three bullets up close, four bullets from across the map. Let me let me accentuate and highlight that. Across the map. And when you were holding down the trigger, it sounded like it was grinding up slabs of metal and spitting out the shards. If you took a sheet of metal and you fed it through a wood chipper, that's the sound of the Black Ops 1 FAMAS. This rifle just shoots me back to early 2010s, playing Black Ops 1 late into the night, getting up the next morning and doing it all over again. Times were simpler. Call of Duty is way more fun, but there's still one gun that I think is more iconic, and if you know anything about COD, you probably already guessed. At number one today, on our list of the most nostalgic COD guns, has to be the Intervention for Modern Warfare 2 2009. The iconic nature of the Intervention transcends Call of Duty. The firing sound, the quick scope animation, the hit marker sound effect, literally everything about this sniper rifle is iconic in the gaming world, and it's one of the most perfectly nostalgic video game weapons of all time. All it takes is one quick listen of the Intervention's firing sound and you'll be shot back to 2009 with a 360 or PS3 controller in your hand watching your buddy try to hit a trick shot off the edge of high rise or camping on the top of rust. Let's just take a moment 
and let's listen. It literally punches you in the nostalgic gut. I really shouldn't have to explain myself further. You know the intervention belongs at number one here. There's no debate. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go fire up Modern Warfare 2 Plutonium, and I'm going to keep the nostalgia train chugging. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did and you enjoy these COD History videos, you let me know.